it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's routine is kickboxing ballet body sculpt. You'll need a set of hand weights. I'm working with three pounds. You're gonna work with something that works for you. We're doing high repetitions. You don't need shoes for this routine, but if you feel better wearing them, please feel free to do that. So we're gonna start warming up here using the legs. Just give me a little side to side toe tap. So this workout's gonna have it all. We're gonna do cardio, we're gonna do sculpt, we're gonna work on flexibility and endurance. Of course the core will be going, lots of good stuff. So bring your arms on guard. So I want you to give me a little tension between your elbows. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders though. We're gonna start to take this into a little bob and weave. So think of tracing an upside down letter U. Not an upside down, an actual letter U. It's not upside down. Down and up, side to side. Squeezing the elbows in tight, keep your abs to your spine. And start to rotate through your hip and your heels. Yeah, so the punches are gonna be powered from the ground up. So we start with that rotation from the heels, moving up. Then we're just gonna start to extend out to a nice, easy jab punch to the front. So anytime you're punching, make sure you're not locking out your elbows. You wanna turn your fist to the ground, hit something, and then bring your arm right back into that guard position. Keeping that little bob and weave going. Good, see if you can give me an exhale on that punch. Shh, shh, shh. Good, nice. Now let's go into an uppercut. So we're gonna bend the elbow in close to the body, using that hip action. Yeah, so what we wanna make sure is we're not punching way out here. This is an undercut position. So you're aiming kind of at your opponent's rib cage or maybe even under the chin. So it's in tight. Again, you're gonna use that rotation to power the punch. You're gonna feel the back muscles working for you too. Let's take it into a hook coming from the shoulder. And I want you to think about here, the forearm coming parallel to the floor, but we're also making sure that we're not crossing the midline of the body like this. So it's not all the way around. This punch goes to the side of the body of your opponent or even the side of their temple if you come up high enough. Good, keep turning the hip, keep working that rotation so we get the core going. Give me four more, three, nice, two. Now give me a double reach, let's just stretch your arms Extend them out, keep that heart rate climbing. Good. Four more here, really lift. Three, two, beautiful. Give me a hamstring curl, let's pull back, open up the chest a little bit, flexing the heel in towards you. Very nice, press the pelvis forward. You got it. And four, three, Two, let's bring it back to guard. We're gonna go right back through those punches, but a little bit quicker through each set. So I want you to give me eight nice and strong jabs to the front. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uppercuts go. Eight, seven, six, turn your hip. Four, three, two, hook from your shoulder. Come on, eight, seven, work on that form. You got four, three, two double reaches, just give me four of them. Now go right back to your jabs, here we go, for four, three, two, uppercut for four, four, three, two, hook for four, double reach, just two of them, two jabs, two upper, two hook. Do it again, reach, jab front, two, upper, hook, double reach last time, jab, two, upper two, hook, stay with your reaches, use your legs, come on, get that heart pumping, so the body should feel nice and warm now, yes, good, so we're just going to go back through one more set, but we're going to double everything up, arms on guard, double jab like this, switch, one, two, one, two, same movement, just kind of took out that bottom and weave. Hit it, pull it back. Good. Keep breathing. Uppercut, sing tempo, two and two. Under, squeeze, show me your bicep. Good. Keep that rotation, use your back. Shh, 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 shh. 
Good. Give me your hooks, same way. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Turn that hip. Good. That's it. Four, three, two. Let's go back to the jabs. Two and two. Beautiful. Stay with me. Uppercut, two and two. Go, under, squeeze. Turn your hip, lift your heels. Hook from that shoulder, go, hook, hook. Feeling the heat building now, good. Now we're just gonna do jabs for four, three, two, uppercuts for four, four, three, two, hook for four. Good, two and two, keep that double tempo. Upper, hook, do it again. Jab, two, upper two, hook two, Give me a squat down. Ah, release your arms. Nice job, you guys. Good, so we got a little bit more in this kickboxing round. Then we'll switch into our ballet for the weights. Feeling good? Nice. Couple more. So just keep in mind this is not contact boxing. So we have a little more liberty to get creative with some of our moves. So it's not MMA kickboxing, cardio kickboxing. We have a little fun with it. Give me four more here. Take it down and up. Two more. Nice. So let's move on to that lower body. We're gonna turn your bottom heel slightly forward. Keep your knee bent. Reach your opposite leg out. Arms on guard. You're gonna twist into your knee. Exhaling, bringing that opposite shoulder across. Now get your balance on that standing leg. So keep that knee bent, abs in tight. We're gonna take this up to tempo, here we go. So we're working the core. All the way from your back into the abs. Heart still pumping strong. Beautiful, nice cross knee strike. Eight more. Six, four, three, two, keep your leg extended, slow down. We have a nice extended side leg sweep. So this is kind of a good preparation for your side kicks, your roundhouse kicks. We're just actively opening up the hip, taking a nice dynamic stretch, and then that reach here gives us a nice solid crunch through those obliques, right? Pull and lift. Good, bottom knees bent. So kickboxing and ballet really have a lot in common, as we're gonna find out today. Give me four more. Two more, mainly a lot of balance. Take it down to our horse stance. You're gonna hold and pulse. So horse stance, knees are open, out over the toes. Your back is tall, squeeze your elbows back behind you. Just pulse and hold. Good, so in ballet we call this a plie. In martial arts, it's a horse stance. So we're taking a little active pulse right here. Good, nice. Open your knees, back, back. Squeeze your elbows back, pull your shoulder blades back and together. Beautiful, last four right here. Four, three, two, you got it. Come on up and switch legs. Oh, Peanut, are you tired already? Get into the other leg, bend your knee, cross, twist slowly. So you exhale as that knee comes up, opposite shoulder crosses, two more slow tempo. Get ready, let's rev it up, here we go. So turn that shoulder. Keep that bend in your standing leg. Make sure you've got your balance. Nice and strong, squeeze, squeeze. Good, and four, three. Extend that leg, reach your arm overhead, crunch. So look at your leg if you need to. Make sure it's lining up with the side of your hip. Now, you don't have to get your leg this high. I want you to focus on that oblique crunch Focus on getting your balance and just opening up through the hip joint, wherever your range of motion is, make it work for you. Four, three, two, one more. Beautiful, now we're gonna come back to our horse stance. I'm gonna turn sideways, just so you can see this next move. Keep pulsing back. So we're gonna move on to a little plank position coming up next. So keep pulsing. 
squeeze your elbows back. Abs in tight, shoulders are over our hips. Just think of opening the knees back as they bend. Lift that heart, squeeze your shoulder blades back in together. Four, three, two. Now, we're gonna place the hands on the floor. So bend your knees deeply. Step back to a full plank position. Abs are in tight, so hold here. Press away from the floor. Keep your abs in. Good. Now from here, we're gonna alternate a little row. One arm at a time, pulls back and switch. So I want you to make a nice strong fist. Pull with the back side of the body to lift that elbow up. Now if you need to modify, just softly come to your knees and you can take this here until you feel ready to extend the legs. Another option would be to take your feet wider apart in that plank right here. Give yourself a bigger base, a little easier to balance too. Four more, three more, two last one. Beautiful, softly come down to the hands and knees. Let's grab our weights while we're down here. How you feel? Are we sweating yet? Good. Let's slowly come up. So now we're gonna move into a little ballet. So we're gonna take the feet parallel, hands holding the weights, I want you to pulse back. So notice my arms are extended, my palms are facing away from my body, and I'm pressing back through the backs of the arms and the upper back. Now we're gonna keep the arms going. We're gonna see if we can alternate lifting up and down with the knee. So it's two different rhythms here. This is kind of like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. You gotta coordinate it a little bit. Up and down, up and down. Abs are tight. Just try to lift that knee in front of your hip, pointing through that toe, good. Lift and lower lift and lower you got it shoulders back abs are tight helping with that balance keep pressing back four more knees three more knees two more knees and one beautiful turn your knees and toes out give me a little first position plie pulse we're going to hinge forward at the hips keep pulsing so i'm about 45 degrees forward with my spine we're going to reach forward palms are up and row and reach, row and reach. So there's a lot of back work in this workout today. Keep that pulse going. Good, squeeze and lift. So feel the elbows squeezing back behind your back. Imagine they're trying to tap each other, even though that's not possible. Pull them back behind you. Keep that plie pulse going. Spine is straight. Back of the neck is long. Beautiful, four more. Three, two, and one. Extend your legs, come on up, turn your palms in. We're gonna reach forward from the hips. Come down, curl up, press overhead. It's down, curl, press. So you've got a little deadlift from a first position. We're gonna hinge at the hips. Press up to releve, which just means you're gonna rise up onto the balls of your feet. And as your arms are pressing overhead, keep them slightly in front of you so you can see those weights out of the corners of your eyes as they push up. Good. Hinge, lift. So keep that back long. We've been doing a lot with the back. So even though it's getting tired, keep it nice and flat for me. It's more important than ever when your back is tired that you keep that spine naturally straight to protect the back. Four more. Lift. Three more. Lift. Give me two more. Good. One more time. Now listen, we're just going to stay with that releve and press up, down, up, down. Now you don't have to come all the way up with your heels. Now I want you to think about keeping your heels pressed together. So I'm just lifting a few inches off the floor. Big time calf work, right? Push, come to 90 degrees. Push, 90 degrees. So this is that high repetition I was telling you about. Squeeze and lower. Woo! I don't know what hurts worse, my calves or my shoulders. Hang on. Lift up through the lower belly. Keep your balance. Good. Up and lower. Four more. Here we go. Four. 
three, last two, please. Beautiful, one more. Woo! Step out, plie, grand plie in second position. So we're coming back to your pulse. So now it's a plie because we're in ballet mode. So pulsing the knees, we gotta work a little bit more of the front of the body. So we're gonna take the arms out in line with the shoulders, hug in, open out, hug in, open out. So close your arms using the chest and the muscles in the front of your shoulders. As you open back, you're gonna tap back in to those upper back muscles. Pull and open. Good. Yeah, stay with me. Come on, I know, I'm feeling it too. Hang on. Squeeze, open. Beautiful. Now listen, we're gonna hang out with the arms together. Just pulse in, squeeze. So imagine you're kind of hugging your arms around an imaginary beach ball. Keep your elbows lifted. Don't let this happen. Lift the elbows, don't drop them to the floor. Lift that heart. Hang on, we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice job. Turn your knees and toes forward. Bring your hands on your thighs. Roll up slowly. Whew. Let's move back to kickboxing. Set those weights down. I want you to take one foot forward. Just give me a step tap to the front. Are you good? Yeah? Feeling good? All right. So arms back up nice and strong. Just a little step tap side to side, even though you're facing me. Eyes are front. Good, nice side to side travel. Perfect. So because we're barefoot, we're gonna keep the kickboxing stuff low impact, but we're still gonna get your heart rate up. So let's put a little combo together. We have jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, knee, knee. So you have three punches, four punches, and three knees. So we got one, two, three, four, two, three knees, hold. One, two, three, four, three knees, hold. One, two, three, four, twist, twist, hold. One, two, three, four, twist, so you have that little second where you have to twist and hold. Now, instead of that hold, see if you can drop down into a squat position. One, two, three, four. Three knees, quick duck. One, two, three, four. Three knees, quick duck. One, two, three, four. Three knees, quick duck. One, two, three, four. Three knees. Quick duck, two more. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Three knees. Quick duck, last set, come on. One, two, three, four. Three knees. Quick duck, now hold it. Hold right here. Beautiful. Stay low. You got this. Good, guys. Now bring your back foot into your front so it's a narrow squat position. We're gonna move in to a different exercise. Keep the spine naturally straight. You're gonna take this back knee, give me a knee strike, to the front. Then we're gonna lift the front leg, kick back. Strike it front, flex it back. Strike it front, flex it back. Now, stay slow with me to begin because I want you to get the feeling of pushing out through that back leg. So we're never just gonna snap the leg out there. You're gonna push strong using the glutes. Again, this is not about height. Can we try it faster tempo, keeping that form? So it's front, back, front, back. Now you don't have to look at your leg, so that might cause whiplash, but give me that same power through your back heel. Push, push, use your abs to lift that knee up. Four, three, two, last set, front back, narrow squat pulse, hold. Great job guys, hang on. We're gonna set all that up on the other side. Take your hands to your thighs, round the back, stand up slowly, just turn it around. Let's get into the step tap. So actively recover for a second. 
rewind the mind, peanut, you're right in our way here. She doesn't do much kickboxing, okay. So we've got four punches, three knees and hold. So we have jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, three knees across and hold. Jab, cross, make sure you're turning through the hips and the heels, three knees, Hold, let's take it up to tempo. One, two, three, four. Crunch. Hold. One, two, three, four. Three strong knee cross crunches. Pause. Use your abs. Work in the whole body on each one of those punches. Jab, cross, jab, cross, knee. Good, let's do one more, then we'll add that duck in there. Ready? Jab, cross, jab, cross. Three knees. Option to add that quick duck. One, two, three, four. Three knees. Optional duck. One, two, three, four. Cross. Good, optional duck. One, two, three, four. Quick duck. One, two, three, four. Good. Last time, make it strong. One, two, three, four. Up. Quick duck, pulse, hold. So we're gonna set up that front knee strike and back kick on the other leg. Back foot steps in. Keep pulsing. I'll make sure I'm not gonna kick anything behind me. Or step on peanut. So slow first. Knee strike, back kick. Knee strike, push through your heel. So there's a lot of balance involved, especially when we're going slower. And as I look at you, I lose my balance. So you focus where you need to focus because you've done this before, so you know what to do. Push out, strike, push out. Let's do two more at this tempo and we'll rock it out. So remember, we want to keep that power of the push through the heel as we go faster, here we go. Knee, push, knee, push. Don't lock your knee. Push, use your glutes. Press, good, press. Four more, go, four, three, two. Last one, squat pulse, hold, narrow feet are together. Breathe, take your hands on your thighs, roll up. Beautifully done. Let's go back to our weights. Woo! Pina, are you tired for us? I know, I know. Step tap with your weights. Just breathe, guys, you're doing great. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna keep working that upper body. Now we're going into sculpt mode. So, from here, we're gonna bring our feet together in our first position. Heels are touching, toes are just naturally turned out. We're gonna start with the arms, out in line with the shoulders. We're gonna plie and squeeze the elbows behind the back. So again, using our imagination, pretending we're trying to tap the elbows together back behind us. We know that's not gonna happen, but that's the feeling. Keep your chest really lifted. Abs in tight, support your spine. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take it into a pulse, pulsing the plie, pulling the elbows back, back, and back. Good, if you're feeling really crazy, try lifting your heels. Keep pulsing, don't separate the heels. Just lift them a slight bit off the floor, only if you feel ready for that. If that feels like it's just way too much, you keep them on the floor. Still gonna get great workout here too. Good, and pulse, pulse, pulse. That's it, come on, keep that chest lifted, especially if your heels are off the floor. Don't start pitching forward. You gotta keep your shoulders over your hips to help with the balance. Keep squeezing, almost there. It's four, three, two, gorgeous. Lower your heels, straighten your legs, point your right foot out to the side. So we're tapping the toe light, arms are gonna come up, to 90 degrees. So we're gonna do this slowly first, so we learn it. We're gonna come up to passe position, closing the elbows, opening out. Now, if passe is a little bit too much, 
you can bring the ball of the foot in at your ankle. So again, full passe or ball of the foot tapping in. Good. Let's go for single tempo. Here we go. Up and out, up and out. Now keep those elbows in line with your shoulders here. Stand tall, lift your chest. Abs are tight, beautiful, good. So I got good news for you. This is our last set. We're gonna cool down after this. So hang on. The end is in sight. Last one, come back to your plie. Reach those arms out, I know your shoulders are tired. We're gonna pulse it only. Pull back, so your poor shoulders have a break, but not your back. Heels lifted if you want that extra challenge. Keep pulsing, keep lifting up and in through the belly. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Make yourself nice and tall here. Remember, we wanna think of the grace of a ballerina, even as we suffer through all these reps. Even though we're sweating like a football player, right? Pull it back, squeeze. That's my favorite when I see football players taking those bar classes. They're in tears. It's hard work. It doesn't look like it. It's deceiving. Last four, three, two, lower your heels. Tap your left foot out. Let's break it down slowly again. So here's the modification or full passe, tap down. Now when you tap your foot back out to the side, don't step on it. It's just a little toe tap. You're just testing the water with your toe. You're regaining your balance slightly like a training wheel. Then you come right back up to that passe position. Good, one more. Single it out, here we go. In and out, don't let your elbows droop. I know you're tired, but this is it. Stay with me to the final stretch. Squeeze. Beautiful, come on. You have this. Stay strong. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift, that's it. Pull in and in. Two more. Last one, beautiful. Let's carefully come on down to the floor. Just set your weights to the side for a moment. So we're gonna lay face down on the mat. You're gonna take your hands back by your feet. You're gonna lift your chest and your thighs as high as you can. I want you to just give me a little flutter kick with your legs. Work the whole back side of the body, reaching the arms back, shoulder blades pull back and together. So it's just a little flutter with the legs, working the glutes, low back together. Just keep looking at the floor, keep the back of your neck long, lift your chest and thighs as high up off the floor as you can. Give me eight more counts. Six, four, three, two, beautiful. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna press up, keeping the hips on the floor. So there's a little arc through the spine. We're gonna work your triceps here. Tiny little press, down and up. So keep the neck long. Abs are tight, this is where you start. If you're ready for a little more, you're gonna lift your hips up into a full modified plank position. Tiny little presses. So you keep your hips down if you need to, or you come up with me onto your knees, but make sure you're in that modified plank position, line from the knees through the hips, out through the head if you're here. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, sit your hips back to your heels, take a breath. Last two exercises, then we stretch. We're gonna come onto the back. We're gonna grab those weights one more time and lay back onto your back. So from here, we're gonna bring the feet underneath the knees. Heels are lifted into a little releve position. You're just gonna give me a little bridge, tap down with the hips, come up and down, up and down. So really press down through those legs. Abs are in tight, squeeze. Press and push, lift up. Good. So our last exercise is gonna focus on your abs, but keep in mind we've been working your abdominal muscles the entire way through. So bar and kickboxing works the waistline the entire time. So we don't have to do tons of crunches at the end of this workout to fatigue the abs. 
especially when we work deep into those core muscles. Four, three, two. Now stay up at the top. We're gonna do a little micro bend of the elbows and drop the hips slightly, tiny little press, press, press. So still in the chest, but this is gonna get a little bit more of the triceps firing. Keep squeezing up, up. So it's just a tiny little bend in your elbows. It's kind of exactly the reverse of what you did on the exercise before this. We did that little tricep press. Same thing, but now we have the weights pushing up to the ceiling. Keep lifting your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three. Take it as high as you can. Slowly roll through your spine to lower your hips. Set your weights to your sides, bring your knees to your chest, rock yourself up to seated. Last exercise, guys, we're here already. So we're gonna take the knees up. We're gonna treat, see if we can find our balance. Holding onto the legs to start, lift your chest. Abs are in super tight. Reach your arms. So we're gonna take a little twist, extending the back leg, turn into your front knee, pull it in a little closer, switch. Now, if you need a little help, Put your hands behind you and just turn your shoulders this way. If you can, you're gonna bend your elbow and twist a little more. Don't you worry, we're gonna take this faster. Here we go. One, two, one, two. So stay up on the sit bones, don't round your back. If you have to come back with the hands, come back with the hands, pull. Good, keep going nice and strong, twist, twist. You know this is your last exercise, so make it count. Last eight, seven, six, five, you're almost there. Four, this is it. Three, two, last set. Woo, you did it, cross your legs. Oh, I love how Peanut just looks always so tired, like she just did a hard workout. She looks how we feel, right? Stretch out and over. Good. Take it to the other side. Just open everything up. <sighs> but don't you feel great now that we're done? Really nice work, guys. Let's come to the hands and the knees. Continue to stretch. Deep breath in, round the chin to your chest. Tuck your tailbone. Exhale, arch and look up. Do it again. Round that spine. Get a nice stretch. Arch. One more time. Remember our motto, if we look like a sweaty mess at the end of a workout, that means we did it right, right? Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, see if you can give me a modified downward facing dog. So you can keep your knees bent here and just pedal your heels one at a time. We need to stretch those calves right now. Think of reaching your chest back to the tops of your thighs. Press both heels down, see if you can extend your legs maybe a little bit straighter. Walk your hands and feet together slowly. Hold that forward fold, clasp your hands together behind your back. Stretch the arms out and away. Slowly lead with your heart, come over the flat back. Take your time, don't stand up too fast. You don't wanna get dizzy. Hands behind the hips. Extend and open up that spine. One more time. You just go as far back as you feel comfortable. And release it. You guys, that was great. Thanks so much for joining me for this kickboxing ballet body sculpt. Hope you had fun getting a little creative with me today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, if you have a request for a workout, be sure to leave it for me in the comments below. Let me know if you did the routine, what you thought of it, what your favorite move was. I'd love hearing from you guys, so be sure to leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share your favorite videos, and Peanut and I will look forward to sweating with you again real soon. Take care, everybody.